Huh? Pink blood? Hey! Everyone did have pink blood! I think I got too used to it! Now that I think about it, it's really abnormal. Blood being pink instead of red is obviously strange. That's right. From the very beginning, I thought something was off. Since I first saw a corpse in the city, I had my suspicions about the color of the blood here. Is that a real corpse? It's not some mannequin, is it? This blood is real? How? Why? I figured it was due to Shinigami haunting me, like it was somehow changing the way I see things. Shinigami, you don't feel anything after seeing this body? Uh, you're asking me how I feel about death? Well, let me tell you, this is totally ordinary! I was just saying there was nothing odd about there being a corpse. The color of human blood doesn't matter to me. But why didn't the other master detectives mention anything about the color? It wasn't mentioned at all while I was investigating crime scenes with Halara. Oh, right! Maybe... The rain sure has changed things around here. Both the city and the people, too. Supposedly, there's something in the rain that messes with our bodies and the environment. But it's all hearsay. It could be because Chief Yaku said the rain affects things. In fact, maybe it wasn't just the master detectives. Chief Yaku and the other people in town. Maybe they all believed it too. For example, they could have said there were some chemical properties in the rain that causes blood to change color. In that case, people wouldn't find it strange that their blood was pink. <laughs> <laughs> yes, homunculi have pink blood. Maybe they were made that way to differentiate them from their originals. Now, you're finally seeing the big picture. <laughs> I've been waiting for this! Master's Mystery Phantom sure doesn't seem scared of these mysteries being solved. <sighs> anyway, we gotta beat him! Otherwise, you'll get caught in its destruction! Fine. Let's end this. It's time to expose the truth of Kanai Ward's ultimate secret! It's over! <laughs> you? You think you can do it? Recaps out of kindness, you know. I'm just saying, it'd be nice to get a little appreciation. Oh, sorry. I thought this was all a part of your process or something. Anyway, time to boom kill this mystery phantom. Let's expose all the facts and finish this once and for all. It's time for the very last deduction denouement. It all started ten years ago. 
The UG tasked both its own research facility and Amaterasu Corp to conduct homunculus research. They were trying to create an immortal army of homunculi that could just come back to life, right? If that happened, the Death Gods would be out of a job! By having the two organizations compete with each other, they hoped to rush development along. And it was the UG's research facility that managed to create a homunculus first. That drove Amaterasu into a panic. So, three years ago, Project Homunculus was conducted under Dr. Weska's direction. Acting like they were just testing for a contagious disease, they took blood from all the people in Kanai Ward. They were turning the town upside down, trying to find DNA that would help them make homunculi. They got beat to the punch and were rushing for results. Huge death flag if you ask me. Ultimately, the experiment was a failure. And their efforts resulted in nothing more than a mass of defective homunculi. Defective homunculi have two fatal flaws. One. They revive after death with fully repaired bodies, but their minds deteriorate and they become zombies. Two, sunlight whips them into a bloody frenzy, but they won't remember what they did afterwards. It's kinda like when an alcoholic corporate drone with a lot of pent-up stress gets a picture at the company party. I'm not sure that's really the same. Anyway, the newly created defective homunculi were exposed to sunlight and immediately went on a rampage. They attacked Kanai Ward and murdered all of the residents. A certain masked man then created a rain cloud generator by making some extreme modifications to a public bathhouse. He covered the whole city with those clouds. The rain clouds blocked out the sun and brought the defective homunculi out of their berserk state. Their memories reverted back to when their blood had been drawn one week before. The blank week mystery refers to the period where they went out of control and lost their memories. So basically, Hanai Ward's ultimate secret is... Three years ago, the defective homunculi of all Kanai Ward residents murdered their human counterparts. Exposed to sunlight at the very moment of their creation, they went berserk and wiped out the entire city. Rain clouds then blocked out the sun, and their human memories returned. The defective homunculi have no idea they're not human. And they continue on to this day in this land of never-ending rain. They just live their lives, happily munching away on human flesh-filled buns. The pink blood wasn't caused by the rain. It's conclusive evidence that they were actually homunculi! This is the truth behind Kanai Ward's ultimate secret! for you. So this guy's the mystery phantom now. I figured he'd show up eventually. You sure took a while getting here. Maybe I shouldn't expect much of you. Is that a solution blade? Huh? Why does he have a solution blade? We shall see which of us should be destroyed. Let's wield our solution blades to find the answer.
Don't tell me. You didn't assume you already arrived at the truth, did you? You promised you would expose all truth. Is this really the best you can do? Well, perhaps you're not as capable as I thought. How did you get that solution blade? Oh, yeah. You should be more curious. After all, you understand nothing about me. For I... am Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. You? You're the ultimate secret? First... When did I come to Kanai War? And why? Can you answer that? Yes, that's it. I came to Kanai Ward during the Blank Week Mystery three years ago. All to resolve that case. Resolve that case? I knew they'd regain control once sunlight was blocked. So, I created the Rain Cloud Generator to gently cover Kanai Ward in rain. More like you caged them in! Without me, Kanai Ward would never have been rebuilt! I used everything at my disposal to cover up the tragedy that took place here. But there was no way for me to fix the entire city on my own. Why did you do it? Why do such a thing? You want to know? I did it to protect Kanai Ward, of course. Because I love this city. I'd do anything for it. But you already know that. Without me, Kanai Ward would have been wiped from the map. The UG planned to flatten Kanai Ward to cover up the failed homunculus experiment. But thanks to my negotiating, they saw the benefits of isolation. We would peacefully secure the defective homunculi, and they wouldn't have to spend a cent. Besides, it'd be a terrible thing if the UG's inhumane research was made public. And through that negotiating, you became CEO of Amaterasu Corporation. Your goal was to rule over Kanai Ward, wasn't it? You still don't understand me. Try to remember. Hey, Master! There's something weird about this mystery phantom. Why are we able to talk to him like this? None of the others acted this way. Huh? Try to remember. What did I do after? I became CEO of Amaterasu Corporation. You shut down the homunculus research. I didn't want to create any additional defective homunculi. 
So I ended the research and sealed off the test site. Dr. Weska and Yomi objected, but as the CEO, I was able to quash their complaints. That's how I rebuilt Kanai Ward all on my own. It is a city for homunculi who have nowhere else to go. You did it to protect the people in the city? That's right. I did it all out of the love I have for this place. That is the undeniable truth. I've never hid my love for Kanai Ward from you at any moment. Yet, you never quite seem convinced about it. What he says makes sense. He's not lying. The experiments created the defects, so we transformed Kanai Ward to protect them. But if that's true... What crime is he guilty of? Why have I drawn my sword against him? Don't let that mystery phantom fool you! Try to remember why he started this in the first place! He's a phantom! He's just trying to prevent you from exposing the truth! Yeah, you're right. He's no saint! He's a dictator who will do anything to achieve what he wants! the mask of a saint, but it can't hide the crimes you've committed. You are the mastermind behind the global kidnapping case the WDO has been pursuing. People were abducted across the world and turned into food for homunculi at your factory. had no choice. They must eat in order to survive. Besides, I never took innocent people. I gathered criminals with no chance of rehabilitation and simply accelerated their sentencing. You saw the memo as well. Besides, they were all on death row anyway. That doesn't make it right! At any rate, that's not just my crime. Huh? The procurement of these ingredients was done with the full cooperation of the World Detective Organization. The WDO? I couldn't have asked for a better source of information for the ingredients. You were working with the World Detective Organization? Actually, it's more accurate to say, I took advantage of them. Liar! The WDO wouldn't let themselves be used by you! You just flaunted their name to capture criminals! In fact, the WDO itself tasked us with investigating the global kidnapping case! If you were their accomplice, they wouldn't have issued that directive! And we would never have come to Kanai Ward to corner you like this! You still think you've got me cornered? <laughs> you really are clueless. The way I see it, you were all gathered at Kanai Ward for... other reasons. Very well. Go on and use that simple brain of yours to expose my schemes! You... used us. 
You hinted at unsolved mysteries and other global cases to lure us to Kanai Ward. Your true goal was to cast out Yomi, director of the Peacekeepers, since he was in your way. Correct. Well, almost. You're so close. Yomi wasn't in my way. He was in Kanai Ward's way. If all he did was use the Peacekeepers to push his weight around, that would have been fine. But of all things, he was working with Dr. Weska, trying to leak homunculus information. If that happened, the unified government wouldn't remain silent. Kanai Ward's secrets would be exposed to the world. Still, I couldn't expel him myself. The Peacekeepers had grown too strong in this city. You pitted us against the Peacekeepers, and you got what you wanted by eliminating Yomi! So what are we gathering here? It was all part of that mask guy's plan? Because you achieved your goal, you're trying to eliminate us now that we've outlived our usefulness? Blood? What happened to the other master detectives? Were you the one who bombed WDO headquarters? They knew too much. I feel remorse for what had to be done, but the WDO was in the city's way. In the way? I had no choice. This city must remain a secret in order to survive. Having detectives snoop around everywhere was a nuisance. That's why I made them disappear. You'll pay for this. Talking to a mystery phantom might be pointless, but I swear you'll regret this. You are evil incarnate! You used the WDO and slaughtered criminals like animals! You even killed my friends! For all the crimes you've committed, I'll bury your soul here! <laughs> I didn't expect to hear something so valiant from the likes of you! Tell me, do you really think you can do this? You're nothing but an empty shell of a man. Don't give me that! I'll... Master, don't let him egg you on. It's a trap. And there's something off about this mystery phantom. He doesn't seem normal. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> 